guys what's up what it do welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Casey and if you are new take one second go down below hit that subscribe button and click that little bell button so you'll never miss when I upload a new video so if you watched one of my previous videos a few videos back where I took you guys to get a Brazilian sugar wax with me then you know that I mentioned that I would follow up and show you guys how I make my homemade sugar scrub to maintain healthy skin and to reduce um, ingrown hairs and to get rid of discoloration down there so here I am today to not only show you guys how I make that scrub but also to give you guys some tips on how to get rid of ingrown hairs how to get rid of discoloration and how to prevent it from happening in the future you guys know I like to get straight to the point so let's just get into it okay so first things first if you're trying to get a nice clean um, smooth no discoloration no dark mark area down there you need to stop shaving do not shave I live for sugar waxing like I don't do any other type of hair removal on my down there area if you are unfamiliar with sugar waxing is I don't want to spend this whole video talking about it I would rather you guys just go watch that video that I did previously in that video I literally showed how sugaring works I showed what's in it I showed who does it I showed where I go I talked about the benefits like everything is in that video so go check that out if you haven't already but long story short to wrap this first tip up uh, whether you like hard wax or you like sugar wax whatever way wax you like to do do waxing over shaving all day if you like to do laser hair removal that's another great way to remove hair but just don't shave like shaving is literally asking for discoloration and ingrown hairs and bumps so just stop doing that next thing I want to point out is that it's so important to have a really good post waxing routine right after I get my sugar wax done um, my waxer puts fresh aloe and lavender on the area to soothe the area immediately right after doing it but you have to have a good follow-up routine as well once you get home so at least four times a week um, not starting the day of my wax but the day after my wax I do this little three-step routine that helps to maintain good healthy skin down there it also helps to just make sure that it, there's no extra irritation after getting a wax and of course it helps with discoloration over time I do this routine for my bikini area as well as my stomach because I wax my stomach as well I do have a hairy stomach it's not a secret you guys have seen the video and tons of girls have it so I don't even know why people are embarrassed of it anymore like hair grows on your stomach I obviously cannot show you how I apply the sugar scrub to my veg but I will show you how I apply it to my stomach and I'll show you step by step how to make it just keep watching okay guys so the first ingredient I use is brown sugar I like using brown sugar over salt or like a regular sugar because it has smaller particles which is a lot more gentle and safer for the skin this is gonna help um, buff away dead skin cells to make the way for healthier glowing skin and it helps to lighten discoloration over time Next, I'm going to add about two spoonfuls of honey. Honey contains traces of hydrogen peroxide, which actually helps to give it lightening properties. It also has antibacterial and antifungal properties, which helps to heal and prevent bumps. I also like using it because it gives the scrub a nice firm texture. It helps all the other ingredients stick together. The next ingredient I'm going to add is turmeric. Turmeric is high in cucumin, which has potent anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties, which helps to heal skin cells and prevent future bumps. It also has lightening properties, which helps with discoloration over time. Next, I am going to add pure lemon juice. Lemons are very acidic, so I don't use the entire lemon. I just use one half of the lemon and squeeze it in. Lemons contain large amounts of vitamin C, which helps to brighten and protect the skin. Like I mentioned, it is very acidic, so this helps to gently exfoliate dead skin cells to encourage speedy cell turnover and promote the growth of healthy skin cells. Next, I'm going to add some tea tree oil, which I diluted in water because tea tree oil is an essential oil. It is too harsh to use directly on the skin, so you have to dilute it, especially for using it down there. Tea tree oil is anti-everything, anti-inflammatory, anti-fungal, antibacterial. It's an antioxidant. It literally helps with everything from reducing ingrown hairs to treating existing ingrown hairs and preventing future ingrown hairs. So once I have all of my ingredients in and I start to mix it up, it can get a bit watery. Um, so I just like to add a little bit more of the brown sugar to give it more texture. You don't want to add too, too much because you don't want the mixture to be too harsh on your skin. 
but you want it to have a nice firm texture. So that way you're ensuring that the sugar is strong enough mixed in with all those liquids to really exfoliate your skin. That's another reason I like to make my own scrub for down there rather than using a regular body scrub because you can control um, how thick and how texturized the mixture is. So you're making sure that it's not too harsh for your skin. The texture I have here is perfect. It's kind of pasty, but still has a good sugary texture. So I just like to add this mixture into a smaller container so that way I have easy access to it while I'm in the shower. And then the scrub that I have remaining left over in the bowl, I just put a cap over it and store it in my kitchen so that way I have it ready to refill whenever I need to. So I apply this in the shower. Um, after I cleanse my skin, I just take the scrub and apply it to my skin while it is damp. You wanna apply it to damp skin just to make sure that you're not scrubbing too hard on your skin. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm just going to show you guys how I apply it to my stomach area because I do sugar wax my stomach and as you guys can see, it is pretty free of discoloration and it didn't used to be. I don't have any pictures but it used to be very dark and it also used to have a lot of dark marks but it has cleared up a lot since I've been using this mixture. You can also use this mixture under your underarms, on your chest and of course I also apply it to my bikini area. Um, it's very gentle, you can use it anywhere on your body. So once I have it applied all over the areas that I want it to, I just like to let it sit while I do the rest of my shower routine, which is usually about five to 10 more minutes. And then the very last thing that I'll do before I hop out the shower is rinse it off. So after getting out the shower, I like to apply these Bliss Bump Attendant um, Ingrown Eliminator Pads. You can think of it almost like a toner for your bikini area. They have amazing ingredients like glyconic acid, which helps to further exfoliate the skin. It has salicylic acid, which helps to get rid of excess oil and debris so that new hair can grow and easily immerse the skin preventing ingrown hairs it also has some other great ingredients like witch hazel oat extract green tea leaf extracts and lavender oil which are all great calming and soothing properties for your skin you can also use these immediately after waxing but i like to use it after exfoliating the skin just because it really helps to re-smooth the skin out sometimes it can get a little irritated after scrubbing down there so this just helps to really soothe it and get it back to normal ph balance so after applying that, I like to apply some 100% organic mango butter down there as well. Mango butter is amazing for the entire body, but especially for the area down there because the texture is so nice and smooth. It's not going to clog your pores. It's going to properly moisturize the skin without it being irritated or um, overly saturated with product. It immediately will absorb into the skin. It has vitamin A, which also encourages proper cell turnover and collagen production, which helps to keep your skin healthy. It has other vitamins like vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, and fatty acids, which all help aiding in cell regeneration. It also helps to even out blotches and discoloration. And on top of that, it also helps protect the skin from the sun, which the skin can be kind of sensitive to the sun immediately after waxing. So this just helps to protect and moisturize your skin. So consistency for that routine is absolutely key. You have to do it like I said, at least four times a week, but you can't do it like once a month and expect to see a difference. You have to keep doing it. If anything, it's good to start now. So that way by next summer, you know, it'll be a lot more clear, especially if you have dark marks or discoloration that have been there for a while. It's gonna take longer to get rid of it. You have to keep doing it in order to see results. The reason why I like to use this homemade scrub over using like a regular body scrub is because most body scrubs are too harsh for the down there area. This one, you can make it so that the consistency is nice and smooth and pliable and not too rough to the point where it will irritate your skin. Plus, all the ingredients are 100% natural. You know exactly what's in it, so you know you can avoid using ingredients that may be too sensitive for your area. And you can also always take away and add ingredients if you think other things might benefit you or if you think certain things that I use might not benefit you. I just found that this combination of ingredients works so well for me. That's pretty much it, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Those really help me out. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hopefully I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye.